Day one of the 04 Jixon 1000 rebuild. Right now, what we about to do is tear everything down in the park. I got so many new parts on the way. So many things ordered. And uh, just stay tuned. We're gonna restore this thing and make it a showroom. <laughs> Let's get it. All right, so I'm headed down to Walmart right now to get um, materials to detail it with. We actually got the bike completely tore down. Um, so while it's down, I'm gonna clean it up, um, prep it for paint to the um, covers. Uh, and um, then after that, you know, we just uh, gonna wait about a week for all the parts that we ordered to come in, build the bike back up, shine it up, paint it up, and have it looking uh, good as ever before. <laughs> what's up, what's up, beautiful people? Update on the 04 Jixa 1000 rebuild. Here are some parts that finally came in the mail. A few of which have already came a few days ago. Um, but let's get into it. Um, I got a brand new smoke tail light um, that just came in. Um, got another tank decal in the shop. I actually have the other one that uh, fits on like the back of the tank where your crotch would go. I got some uh, red uh, brake and clutch levers. I got um, the full uh, bolt kit or whatever for the 04. <coughs> Excuse me. I have the uh, rubbers for the air duct. Um, I had the air ducts in the shop already. And they actually sent me some um, blue bar ends. They were supposed to be black. Uh, but I have some black ones on my Fresh Prince bike that I just might uh, just exchange um, because I do have blue on that bike and it would match. Plus, the ones on my Fresh Prince bike are brand new anyway, so I uh, might do that. So just stay tuned. Here go a few parts, and um, I got a few parts at the shop as well. Just waiting on a headlight, foot pegs, and my cluster plastic um, cover and... Then we're just going to start building it, painting it, and uh, she'll be ready here shortly. Uh, Would have been already ready if it wasn't for the mail and me waiting on parts, but you know how that goes. Push away from you. Yep, just like that, Bubba. It won't be long. You'll have that bad boy. There you go, big fella. That's what makes this stuff hard sometimes, Bubba. Damn, what the hell? Soon and very soon, we're going to get this seat put on but we're gonna get it put on tight you can see all that looseness and wrinkles you know that's no bueno so get these things put on and secured on tight as you can see we took all the wiring for the lights and stuff off that's my lead mechanic right there um so just stay tuned progress on the way you the lead mechanic on this project yes you are what you got going <laughs> I see you full here. I gotta figure out why it don't work. I gotta check all my power and everything. Just got delivery of the M4 exhaust. Let's get it. All right, frame is done, as well as the cases. And we're working on that gas tank right now. Okay, so the big box wouldn't fit in this little car. I even got two fans in the trunk, the side fans. But uh, where there's a wheel, there's a way. So let's get it. Hey buddy, what are you doing? 
first time putting a boat kit, a fan kit, on a, a bike. Those sides was a little tough for me to get on, but I made it happen though. black piece down in there. I actually put it on and then had to take it back off just to readjust this black piece, but as you can see, we made it work. And now I'm changing the levers from this bronzy color to these red ones. The red is not, of course, spot on. Um, it's a little different. It blends more or less with this one, not so much so with this. But it certainly looks better than this bronze. So let's go. Today has truly been a struggle. Long story short, some of the, the boats that boat on back here, um, they only sent me three, but I need four holes. So I got one from when I first took it out. Um, also, there's no way I gotta go for, wait for LA to get here, but to figure out if it's a better way to run this wire than straight to the bottom. That way you don't see it. Um, the air ducts. The air ducts aren't fitting in as needed to be. If I put them attached to this and then I put it onto the bike, I have a hard time pushing it and aligning these bolts. If I put this on, then I have a hard time putting the air ducts in last. Um, headlight went in smoothly, um, signals work, um, I just put in these, installed these mirrors, obviously, uh, clutch levers I did yesterday, um, so yeah, we're working, we're coming together slowly but surely, um, once I get this situated, and I figure out what's going on with this high beam, then I will put my new cluster in. Uh, it's not new, but I put a new case in. Um, then I'll put that on, and uh, I'll just start cleaning up and dressing up some of these wires, but yeah, I think we're on the way. Uh, 04 Jixon 1000. Oh, I put on the new frame sliders too, the carbon fiber ones, kind of the blend in with the rest of the carbon fiber that I got going on with the bike. So, yeah, y'all stay tuned. Okay, you guys, so I finally figured out what was going on with these vents, um, or the air ducts, rather. Uh, if you guys remember in the previous little section, if I had put this on, the front headlight bearing, if you will, if I put that on first, then I was having a hard time putting the air ducts in. Well, if I tried to put the air ducts on with it, I couldn't push it further enough back to get to access these bolts. Well, what I figured out was, it's a bolt that holds these on and hold them into place. So it's all just trial and error, figuring out, you know, plug and play, figuring out what works. So stick with me. All right, so I think I fixed it. So I think I found the problem. This bulb is actually not hooked up to anything. However, the piece connected is, it runs down to the bottom. And when you go to the bottom bulb, the, this connector piece has four plugs into it. This one only has two. So I was thinking, take these two wires and shrink wrap them to these two so the power will come from there to there. All right, so I couldn't get the uh, headlights to work. The low beam would work, but not the high beam. So instead of putting those HIDs back on, I'm uh, putting on these LEDs. Okay, so this bike is just full of challenges. You hear me? So I'm trying to dig my hands in these in this crevice, which you can see how much room and space I have to put that HD, that LED light into that fixture. That was hard to reach and hard to get to, but that's what happens when you never give up. So now. I need to get an adapter piece so I can fit the low beam. But uh, we ain't giving up. We'll keep hitting the gas to get to it.
like a bigger dream, nigga, what do you mean? Uh, I get the bag everywhere I go, yeah, nigga, I make it green. Uh, keep a track on the sun and sun, yeah, you know that bitch came with the beam. And a big body Bentley with the interior ice cream.